What's up everybody? I'm Speakman10227 and today we are talking about how to set up aquariums on a budget. I'm going to share with you guys some tips and tricks I've learned along the way to ease the pain on the wallet when you're setting up a tank. Alright, let's get right into it. First and foremost, find cheap equipment, find a cheap store. If you can't find anything, I have discovered Craigslist is your best friend. There are always people getting out of the hobby. There's a story behind this tank. Some of you will notice this is a new 75 gallon tank. There's a story behind it. I'll tell it in a minute. But let me just say, Craigslist is loaded with people. I have even seen ads with people. I saw an ad for a guy that had a 125 and he just had a huge setup and couldn't deal with it anymore and was moving or something and wanted to get rid of it pronto. And uh, he advertised that if you came, tore it down, fish, substrate, everything was yours. Free of charge. You just had to tear it down and move it by a certain date. So. It's out there, okay? Now, let me give the story behind this tank, and I'll share with you guys what I did. My buddy traded me, or gave me, his old 75-gallon reef tank. Some of you remember it had, like, right in the middle, it had the overflow blocks. It was a salt tank. came with a stand, sump, all that stuff. Well, I'm a freshwater guy. I haven't done a, a uh, reef tank before. Oh, excuse me. So, what I was doing with it was turning it into a uh, planted tank, okay? So, all this stuff, the overflow and all that stuff, it was a drilled tank too. I was going to have to patch the bottom. I hated to ruin a perfectly good tank and stuff, but I had to patch it. I'll do a, uh, as soon as I get this 110 aqua clear running, I'll do a uh, review on that. Some of you have been asking about that too, but I've actually yet to even use that. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I was going to have to do a lot of work on that, so I found a guy. Look around. See if you can find fish stores that are willing to trade used equipment, because even if you find a tank online and it's not exactly what you want, say you want a 55 and you found a 40 for free, some stores will let you trade in stuff for store credit. Take that 40, you know, pay whatever, $20 for the 40 or get it for free or whatever, take it and trade it towards the 55. What I did was I took the 75 gallon reef tank my buddy gave me, it was a salt setup, and it was a good tank, and it was a sweet deal, but I was going to have to do a lot of work to it to convert it to a freshwater tank, like plug those holes in the bottom and stuff like that, because I wasn't doing a sump for a freshwater tank. I do a hang on back canisters, that kind of thing. Um, a sump is more than the work I want to put into it for a freshwater tank. Um, so anyways, what I did was I traded a protein skimmer, um, he gave me the whole works. I traded all that stuff, some water pumps, I thought about keeping it just for the future, but I decided not to. So, um, anyways, I traded all that, and in exchange, this dude gave me a brand new 75 gallon, you can see it, brand new, still on the wrapper. 75 gallon tank, that's just my driftwood all that stuff and I've been setting it in That's where it's going to be sat and I'm just setting it in here daydreaming, getting really excited about it. Anyways, I got the tank outside I got to be working on. But anyways, look on Craigslist, try to find stuff cheap. And it, even if it's not exactly what you want, if you got a store that'll trade, do that. Okay, now let's span over here. Like I was saying, talking about this is a uh, 10 gallon uh, tank. This is going to be Megan's tank. Um, it's going back in the bedroom. It's not going to be right here. But anyways, what I want to show you guys is back to finding a store that's cheap. And a lot of these guys that deal or are willing to trade are willing to sell their stuff a lot cheaper. Like you can see this stand. Look at this. It's rusty and stuff like that, but it's got a good design to it. It's nice and sturdy. She likes the way it looks. It's going to house her 10-gallon community tank up here, just going to be Daniels and I think a Beta. And then I'm just putting a quarantine tank down here for the rest of my fish. So the stand doesn't have to be anything pretty. It's all rusted and dirty. I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper, spray paint it. Dude, these things are like $50 out of the store for a double stack 10, you know, with a little fancy design on the side and whatnot. We paid $15 for it. So look around. Try to find someplace cheap. Now, on to the next thing. I really like this, okay, for the substrate. You don't have to go pay $3.99 for a five pound bag or whatever it is. I bought this stuff right here at Lowe's. You can get it at Home Depot, whatever. This is just regular rock. Okay, let me pull some out of here so you guys can see it without hopefully dumping it all over the floor like I am. See, there you go. It's kind of bigger stuff. Um, as you can see, it's probably better for goldfish than like a planted tank if you're doing that. But underneath are smaller pebbles. Take a, um, I've seen a video by Dustin doing this with an Eheim, uh, 
um, um, oh, what do you call it? Like a little shelf out of an Eheim filter is what he used. Um, you can use like a pooper scooper for a cat. Uh, whatever. But you sift through this and get those big rocks out and get the little ones in there. And uh, that's free. You know, that's, you, you can divide it up. You can use the big rocks for goldfish tank or whatever, the small rocks for a plant tank, whatever you want to do. But my point is, this bag of gravel, it's a 50-pound bag. It was normally three uh, fifty-two, I believe, at Lowe's. Well, I go in. This bag was like this when I bought it. I go in and I see all these ripped bags. They have a ton of them laying on these pallets. It just happens while they're unpacking them, and I offer them a dollar for the bag. And they're like, "Oh, we're not going to do a dollar, but we do a dollar fifty. The darker colored that was like this, they had pea gravel too. I bought this for my goldfish tank, okay? That's why it's bigger. But they had pea gravel there too. Same size as the stuff you get out of, uh, sorry, I'm picking up rocks and I'm dumping all over the place. Same size as the stuff you get out of, um, like the Estes or whatever it's called. SDs, however you say it, that uh, stuff that you get out of the aquarium store, they have the stuff same size, it's like $3 for like a 50 pound bag, and if you get the bags that are ripped, you can offer them like half price and they take it, okay, so it may not be exactly what you want, but it's cheap, and you know, for all of us that are into the planet scene and stuff like that, the gravel is, you know, not nearly as important as the appearance of the plants and stuff like that. If you've got it planted heavy enough, the gravel isn't even hardly visible anyways. So, and with that being said, I would rather spend it cheaper. But anyways, I bought four bags of, four 50-pound bags that were ripped. I got 200 pounds of gravel, which I'm going to use for substrate in my aquariums, for six bucks. So, at that price, I'm willing to do it cheap. Now, there are some things you don't want to cheap out on. You know, I wouldn't cheap out on a heater because you'll probably get some piece of shit that'll stick on and boil your fish. But, you know, gravel, stands, you know, workout deals with people in your tanks, whatever, it's, that's how you set up on a budget. If anybody else has any suggestions, here's my fishies. They're holding tight. I got so much aeration in there, it's like my bubble tank. Uh, there's my fish in my bubble tank. This is just, this thing's getting completely redone. I set this up when I was new into the hobby, the skull and arch and all that crap. Coming out, this is going back to being a planted tank, but right now it's just a temporary home for them until I can get the 75 up and running, which hopefully will be coming this weekend. So stay tuned for that if you, uh, if you don't mind. If anybody has any, uh, uh, um, suggestions as to what you can put in to, uh, do things a little cheaper with aquariums, by all means, please comment below. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you can find deals like this, and please feel free to share what you do to uh, make things a little cheaper and easier on yourself. I appreciate you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.